Negative 21, one. That is way off that way. Let's go. There's our spawn mushroom. Wait, we're gonna be doing it right here? Negative 21, one. Now we need to go down to negative 59. Yeah, that's right. I'm digging straight down. I'm a pro. Ah! I said I was a pro, didn't I? Okay, this ain't looking good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> um, oh god. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was supposed to be on hard. Whoopsie! Well, <laughs> let's just look at the bright side here. I would have lost everything. Except for this stuff. <laughs> oh, that's good. Some places in my world didn't generate deep slate where there used to be bedrock. So this will hopefully work. I'll be a little smarter now. Dig down two blocks. Okay, we're here. Now I need to dig this area out. Oh no! Well, I think this might be ruined. Dang it. Here's a glitched area right here, for example. Dang it! Oh! Should I just scrap this whole intro? Probably not. But I was gonna follow Silent Whisper's new video. A lot of you sent it to me as well. You dig out a certain area, you spawn in a wither, and he suffocates in bedrock over in this general area. And he gives you the star. Yes, I was going to take advantage of that while it's still in the game. But I'm not even going to risk trying that and getting blown to smithereens because we have a freaking wall there. Ah, uh, it's been, I'd say, a week since I've uploaded the world tours. I just needed a little time to recuperate my thoughts and decide what the heck I wanted to do. Just needed a little break. But I haven't been on that much of a break. I've been working on my second channel. Where's my sniffers? Ah, nice. I hear them. My texture pack is just making them invisible. But yeah, that is right. I am going to sponsor my second channel in the beginning of this video. It's, uh, it'll be in the description down below. I've uploaded like seven videos in the past couple weeks on there. The second channel is other games, by the way. It's not Minecraft. But I'm really excited to get that channel going and just get more games going over there. We're in the good old city because I want to make a bank. Yeah, a bank. <laughs> um, this is a really tough decision because my bank is really white in my test world. Where the heck is a white bank going to fit in around here? Oh, it's nice and cozy up here. I've been running all around my city. I just don't know where to put this thing. Like, I actually want a bank downtown. Do I put it where that llama is? No, it just doesn't fit there. Right here? Uh, no? Hey, Bobby boy. I hear they're changing you. You're gonna be a little bit more useful. Even though I've been finding use in you recently, but they're changing a few things about villagers, such as certain trades are gonna be set for certain biomed villagers. And I see a lot of people complaining. I actually really like that. It forces you to go to new locations and explore. Um, so yeah, I am still going to go with my design all white. Now this is gonna be Similar in the style of my museum, but made out of quartz. So it's just gonna look like an official building. It may look a little out of place, considering I'm going for this heavy dystopian look, but I think this city, this is what this city needs. More of these like maybe classic architecture look and it needs more greenery too. We need to start planting some trees. I told myself I wouldn't work here immediately in this episode, right after world tour, but here I am. Great work, Dallas. You've got to do yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, let's go ahead and build the face of this. Let's make it look pretty cool, too. I'm imagining like a big B right here just to for bank. <laughs> How is this going to look? Wow. Way better than I thought here. <laughs> it's this is just the very front because then we're going to have to build another front behind here where the door is if you catch my drift. Um yeah, that looks great. I had issues with the B, a lot of issues because I wanted this many pillars, but to have them spaced three wide and also the pillars being two wide, I ended up with an even number at the very point here. And the only B I really knew how to make look good was three wide, but I made a B that's four wide, so it actually looks pretty darn nice. Oh yeah, it's gonna look good from this angle too. You can see it down the street there. 
Oh, this is gonna require so much quartz, though. So, I have quartz a little bit, as you can see in here, but this is all I have left. So this probably won't be finished today, but we're gonna do our absolute best to just use all the quartz we have on this. Okay, I'm gonna try to design the back face. It's, oh boy. How's she looking? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's gonna fit in well downtown. Oh, it just looks like such an official building. I'd store my money there, and I will, because that's the whole point. <laughs> I actually want it to feel like a proper bank. I want all of my value to be stored here. Not like armor and stuff, but you know, like emeralds and gold. Perhaps I can make a different place for iron, because that's like, no, I'll probably put it here. But what my plan is, I'm gonna build a big vault down below. But in the main lobby, wherever I make that in here, I wanna make it a withdrawal area too, that I can store a mass amount of emeralds and just like maybe click a button and it gives me a stack or something. But yeah, we're just designing the outside right now. Uh, we still got the whole inside, but I think it's turning out all right. Hey look, Saturn. I cannot wait to explore the moons of Saturn and Starfield, dang it. Here I go mentioning Starfield again. But uh, I went to the nether, just got some stuff here, thought you might want to see. You care about seeing this stuff? Look at that, I got 10 new smithing tables. I think I came across two new bastions, but I mainly went for quartz, obviously. And I'm at 100 levels. I don't think I actually reached- oh no, I don't think my sign's up here anymore. Oh yeah it is, good. But as you can see, this tree was actually dedicated to reaching 200,000 subs and reaching 100 levels for the first time on that day. And I actually don't think I've ever reached 100 again, except for now. It's just a lengthy process for a normal survival player like me. Like I have a few farms, but it just takes time. And I got a golden apple, not chapel. Think I'm gonna go with the diorite roof with whatever diorite I have left in my world because I am <laughs> I'm flipping every stone looking for diorite in this world. I've used it all up. It's kind of sad. But yeah, as you can see, we got some more sides going on here. I didn't really explain the details a whole lot. So, for example, behind the B there, that's bone block. I mainly use, as you can see, smooth quartz. I got some normal quartz every once in a while. And I really like this pattern of two upside down stairs and one, two, one. Just creates a unique effect. And then, as you can see, you got the pillars and whatnot. And these walls... On the side, I kind of just mix them like this, but these ones, I'm going to put the brick here because this is going to be the lobby where you see all the windows. And I believe starting right here is where the main desk is going to be. So I can walk here and make a withdrawal if I want a lot of emeralds, but I'm also going to have a section where I can walk down into the vaults with access. But look at it. Oh, it looks so good. Over here as well, I forgot I did this a couple days ago. I've been clearing all this out and laying out a flat patch of dirt because as you know, this is going to be the new slums area. Well, actually, specifically down here, I think, is this is going to be part of the town. That still looks relative- Ooh, wait a minute. I need to make a nice homing district, you know? Maybe it's up on this hill. Oh, gosh. There's just so much to do in this place. Okay, I'm going to finish the complete outside of this. Good old workshop room. I think I have. Actually, I need that. But I think- I have white glass right here. No, here. <laughs> I was kidding here. Right here. It was right here. I mean, this one, this one, this one. It was this one. See, I was right. I guess I'm going to use white glass for this. I know this is a very extremely white build. I actually had complaints. People saying you, you build with white too much. You need to change it up. And I'm like, I know. Because we just built that whole astronaut training facility. White just looks professional. And the professional builds I'm doing, such as this in the astronaut facility, I mean, these are the best looking blocks for it, if you ask me. Um, as you can see, I don't know what I showed last, got the back on. I think I'm gonna have this as the interior, it just looks great. Uh, and then I think I'm gonna do... Yeah, I guess white glass. I don't know, this might look odd from the inside though, will it? Might not look too bad. This place isn't going to be two stories tall, it's just gonna be one giant room and then the main this is just the main thing and then we're gonna have the vault below yeah this might work i don't know yeah i didn't really plan this corner out too well because i got like terracotta hidden back there but i believe it'll look great on the outside as you can see this is always the funnest part though not really interiors are hard for me okay i think i've almost nailed my exterior building skills not saying i'm perfect at it i'm just saying i've nailed it 
But the insides, oh, I still got a lot of learning to do. So, this video might be a little bit shorter than I'd like it to, but uh, I have a wedding to prepare for. And that's taking up a lot of my time. I don't prefer that, but I'm going to be gone for this whole weekend, so I at least need to get out something. So that's just to clarify that. Look at this, though. I'm really liking how this is looking. This white, well, the quartz mixed with white terracotta is actually quite nice. As you can see here, <laughs> I made a whole system for, well, I think I'm just going to have one villager back. I wonder how I'm going to do it. I kind of want to lock them in this space. I don't want them free roaming back there, so... It's obviously going to be one of you guys. I think I'm going to have two villagers in here. One's going to be the receptionist, and then one is going to be someone, maybe a guard down below? I'm not really sure. I'm trying to figure out, see, these are the issues I always have, is what do you do with that back there, huh? <laughs> now, it could, actually, you could build up a wall right here and turn this into like an office space. I thought about that, but I don't like that. I think this is just going to be the only thing in here and we're going to have some office spaces down below. You know, like cubicles who are keeping track of people's accounts. So I'm going to continue this pattern all the way around here, which requires a lot of terracotta. And then build some sort of fancy ceiling, which is also going to take a lot of resources. Man, I just, I'm underestimating how long these builds take. I'm, I have this new system where I want to complete these massive builds in one episode. And it's just unrealistic sometimes. So, but yeah, as you can see, I got this hallway walking around here. I think I'm just going to have a staircase going straight down here. Maybe. Or I could turn this into... No. But yeah, I just wanted to update you. It's it's turning out alright. I'm stressing a little bit. So I'm going for this weird open floor plan. So all these buildings, or not buildings, rooms, like this one for example, and even this hallway, it has an open ceiling. I just have these courts on the top just to, I don't know, highlight that. And I even got a little office back here. And I was going to put a ceiling in here, but I'm like, you know what? Might as well just make it all like this. So this is where the receptionist is going to sleep. I'm going to put a bed in here and a little table to make it look like a workspace. And then I guess right here, I'll put a librarian here, I guess. I'll just put a lectern right here so they're constantly working here. When I come in, I can talk to them. And if you have any ideas for like some little bank redstone tricks, let me know what you think I should do. Of course, I want to make some sort of ATM. I'm assuming I'm going to do... Maybe a dispenser of some sort? I don't know how I'm going to do it. But when I come to the bank, I want to have the option somewhere to withdraw a stack of emeralds. So I don't have to take the whole stack, but I want there to be a whole stack through the click of a button, maybe? But yeah, it's just going to lead around here. And this is going to lead down to a floor plan with some offices, and then maybe in some direction have a vault door with redstone. And I'm thinking up here, I will retrieve the key and I go down there and use that key to unlock my vault. And wait, it's gonna have to be pretty big if I'm storing all my stuff out in the open. You know what, no, for this vault, I'll just store the emerald out in the open and all the gold and iron will probably go in chests. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still like this vault, but it's just out of the way now, you know? We had a vault at our house, but then we started working on the lab, so we put the vault here. Now we're working on the city, so we're basically going to put a vault there. I don't think I'm necessarily going to empty this out, but I think the mass of my riches should be stored at the new vault, per se. And plus, I just want these beacons back. But I love the door so much. Uh, should I keep these doors open? So, yeah, I think I will. Because when I come here, I'm going to want to come just real quick to get my stuff. So, I'm gonna run through here. I mean, it's all guarded up, so the villagers will be fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna run up here. That's why I put pressure plates here. This is gonna be a button-activated door so the villager doesn't get out. I wanna be able to run down to my vault really quick if I really wanted to. It's another issue with the vault in the lab. It's very hard to get to. I didn't make it easy to get to. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. This will definitely be finished in the next episode. Well, we're gonna finish it in the next episode. Gosh, look at that. I love it. I'm proud of myself. I like that build. All right, well, that time has come where we finally create a new book. I just gotta remember how I named them. Are these them right here? These have to be, right? Yeah, common question of the day, book number one, 300 plus, 359 plus, 400 plus, 450 plus, and then we got 500 plus here. We can go ahead and sign this. Authors Dallas Med 65. Ah, there we go. No longer edit it. Go in the collection. <laughs> Create our new book here. I have no anvil in here. Why not? What the heck, Dallas? Ah! Uh, ah, oh, my legs. Here's one.
<laughs> yeah, that works. It's episode 553, but whatever. <laughs> I didn't plan to have three videos as world tours. My world's just so big now. I noticed running through my world tour, I had some- what- like, what is this? What is that? Why did I put that there? Of all things. What is it? Why is that burnt down? I have no lightning rods on this, do I? No. Or maybe I just didn't finish it, but there was a part that did burn down. And that is, yeah, this wall, because I had lightning rods on it. I didn't know lightning rods caused fires. I actually thought the whole purpose of lightning rods being added to this dang game made it to where it got rid of lightning causing fires. <laughs> I feel like they didn't explain it well or something. I, it turns out they just attract lightning. So if you prefer lightning to cause fires, you'd rather use lightning rods. So yeah, um, I have lots of lightning rods on the, my house, even right there, for example. I think that is one. Yeah, so... <laughs> and that's wool, too. I'm surprised that has not burned away yet. But yeah, our good old training course here. I haven't ran it in a while, and I really kind of miss this whole training course idea. And I wouldn't even mind making a newer one. But yeah, I'm gonna have to fix some of this up. While I'm messing around over here, I will go ahead and answer the new comment question of the day. This is from episode 549. It's from your friend Willie2673. Would you ever consider moving to a different part of your world to almost start over again? So, I, I can understand if you're newer here, you did, wouldn't know that I've actually done this before. Um, so yeah, I have done this before, as many of you may know. The Stone Mountain base, it's 30,000 blocks in that direction. I gave myself a bunch of rockets and only went with my elytra wings, I flew up so high that it would not load terrain as I flew, and then I just glided 30,000 blocks that way, and when I hit the ground, I buried my elytra wings and my rockets and started fresh out there. And, what am I doing? Oh, I need to go over here. And I liked that feeling, because it was untouched terrain, but this was before Caves and Cliffs. Or, yeah, Caves and Cliffs. All the new stuff, you know. Oh, perfect amount, sweet. And so that has me thinking, would you guys like me to do that again? But do go off in a different direction, reach new terrain, and well, I don't know how long it would last because we didn't last very long out there. But I I just love the idea of kind of maybe taking a break from this area. Not right this second because I'm enjoying the city, but you know, maybe once we reach a stale point, dang it. We can maybe give this a try, and I'm talking about actually somewhat soon. We don't have to reach a stale point, just maybe in the like next 10 episodes. But I won't spend a super long time out there. I'm not doing it to restart. I'm doing it to, well, you know, up, oh, let me fix that. Take a vacation, that's what I always call them. So we would try our best to stay out there. Maybe like five to 10 episodes, maybe even longer. It just matters how interested I get. <laughs> the last one, I didn't stay out there for as long because I just missed my lab. I was really into like lab building. I gave up that idea and came home within like five episodes. I have a few very generous donations, uh, but I will get to them next episode. I don't want to rush it because these are special moments for me and you, the people who donated. So I don't want to rush that. I'll get right to it next episode and I'll make a special next episode of the people who have donated recently. I will pick them to go in the city next. So I just feel guilty uh, going so long without, you know, showing these massive supporters some gratitude. Uh, I know I could simply go over there now, but I am like, running thin on time. I still got to edit this and upload it. I hate it. I hate rushing my episodes, but I'm just in that predicament right now, and I want to give you guys some content. I mean, we built a freaking bank. I'm pretty happy about that, actually, but we didn't just... Well, yeah, we didn't build the vault, but we got close enough. You know, I'm happy with it. I hope you guys are happy with it. Again, if you have ideas of what I could put in the inside and maybe some contraptions, let me know, because I'm just one person with my own ideas. I'd like to hear your guys' ideas, too. But hey, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end it here and uh, get this uploaded. Again, I'll get to Dono's next episode. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.